Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to be talking about something really, really important in um, Canva websites, and that would be something called grouping all of your elements together. The reason that this is important is because the way that Canva seems to be um, translating websites into a mobile version is kind of reading all of the elements top to bottom left to right so we kind of need to keep all of the elements in that order if we want a cohesive user experience for the people who use our website so what I want to show you is this is what your website should look like the buttons should be underneath each service but what can happen if we don't group it properly is the buttons disappear like this and then they stack all up on the bottom. So it just kind of feels a little bit weird for people. So what the secret is, is right here, we have these elements behind all of the text and images and stuff, and it's just a plain rectangle. That's the secret. It's nothing super special, but this rectangle makes Canva read like I said, so it seems to be reading the websites and building them into the mobile version and it places the elements from top to bottom and left to right. And if we don't group it all together, then it's going to read each of these individual elements and kind of place them accordingly. But when we put that grouping together, it makes sure that these buttons all stay together with the ones that they should be. So let's go ahead and I'll just show you, I guess from scratch, how you could do this. So you would just click from lines and shapes. I think square is the first one for most people. And you would just choose the color that matches the background and then just place it behind. And I would try and center it behind See, it will automatically kind of lock onto a grid. You see how it stops moving a little bit? That's called locking onto a grid. So it seems to be the best if you can keep it centered. So go ahead and copy and paste that. And just send it to the back. Make sure that it's centered. And I don't think it matters so much if it's the exact same height, um, top and bottom it seems to only really be affected on the mobile view if it's not completely centered. But now let's go and look at the mobile preview. And if you remember the second services page, these buttons weren't here, but now they are. And it just makes so much more sense when someone's using their website and you know, you don't always want to have to put, like, um, if under the buying section, I think it sounds a lot nicer to say learn more instead of having to put buying, selling, and other services on the button. It just looks a lot more cohesive to have all of the same words and have it say learn more. So there's a lot of benefits to having this little grouping thing, but now you know the trick and you won't ever be stumped when you go to check your mobile preview and things look a little bit crazy. So there you go.